Hey everybody, it's Charles Knight! Welcome back for more Final Fantasy V Advance! This is episode 33! Uh, okay, I'm gonna ride this. Now we're here. Well, yeah, shortcut. <laughs> now we're, we're gonna break this Apple tablet and get so a new a few more weapons legendary Sasuke's katana let's get that oh yeah ah seizures Sasuke's katana Sasuke's katana nice knife with blocking ability yeah that weapon sometimes blocks hits and here's a nice one Masamoon Ah, my eyes! Massive Moon! Massive Moon! A nice katana that makes you get pre the first turn, just like Quick Attack. Runax? Uh, I don't like that. Well, whatever happens, we're gonna get all the weapons when we get all the tablets. Let's just get it in any order we want. But I want to optimize my power, so let's get this. I like knives and swords. Yeah, Assassin's Dagger! A good dagger with a good attack level. Slightly weaker than the chicken elf. But yeah, it's a decent knife. And goodbye! Goodbye, Apple Tablet. Don't worry, I still have my laptop. You only need one lithograph more. And we completed all the stones, I mean the lithographs. <coughs> Let's teleport out of this place. Okay, here's our next. We need to go to that place. I already returned to Black Chocobo to Phantom Village and get back to the airship and went to Boko. Okay, using Boko. Our next quest needs Boko. So here's the Kuza Castle. You go up, go north. Since Boko can't fly, you have to walk to the next destination. Okay. <clears throat> ah, so where is it? By the way, I'm, uh, I and my friends played some Crash Team Racing in Shadow Feline's house. I had a party at this my buddy's house last Sunday <laughs> and we also went to SM for, for bowling and I suck at bowling because it's my first time hooray for gutters yeah so here I go down here there's a secret here ouch my ass obtained magic lamp Okay, oh yeah, you press press A and you will make a blue light. Oh yeah, that's cool. Actually, when you do that, you replenish the water in the magic lamp. The magic lamp is a free uh, summon casting toy. And you, any character can use it. If you use it from the items, you can cast the summon without MP cost. For example, my strongest right now is Odin. Yeah. And when I use the magic lamp, Odin will be casted for free. No MP cost. Okay, let's go to our next quest. It's Story Falls. This is the area. It's in the northwest part of the map in World Tree. Okay, I meant to go up. Only it's the last lithograph and. There's one last side quest, and that's it. We're gonna enter the rift after we finish this two quests. We're really far in the main game. So it's right here, northwest. Okay, you can always rest in your submarine for free. The end costs a bit of gill, but here it's for free. Oh yeah. Everyone's going to sleep. Yeah, Ian Lutt might 
get mad again because yeah I said the Ian Lott throw. When we were playing at Shadow Feline's house, Ian Lott was like, no I'm a noob. Even if I got first place in one of the racing. <laughs> okay, the, or the encounters here are the weak monsters from World 1 or 2. Well, at least they're one hit KO. Okay, let's go here. Oh, it's Torfoss, so Cargoyle, okay. Let's save first, forgot to save. Oh yeah, file saved. Let's go. History falls. Okay, it's the usual gargoyle battle. Kill, use attacks that will hit them and kill them simultaneously. And counter defeat. Terrible the points. Oh yeah, I'm sick of those. I guess this is the last gargoyle battle. And finally, protected by water, beyond its falling torrents, one tablet rests. You burn a page, it's time to get the Windows Tablet. Microsoft Windows Tablet. Okay. Lots of water in this place. It's not good, it's making me... Making me... <sighs> it's making me... Uh, too many water, too much water in this place. Good thing I didn't drink after eating my afternoon snack. Yeah, we're good to go. I, by the way, I made Ferris into a ninja, but I think you already saw that, even if I didn't see it. So I can also master dual wheel from her. And two-handed of night sucks. So yeah, we're better off with dual wield. I'm not gonna do the two-handed again. I never realized it sucked because two-handed ability of the knight, it's not passive. You have to equip it to use the two-handed. That's really stupid, really. They should have made that passive. So you I mean if I use a, a freelancer and I don't equip a shield, it should be automatically switched to two-handed, but no, they wanted the, to be, be passive, right, they want two-handed to be active, or like a, you have to place it on an ability slot, so that's really stupid. Yeah. Dual wield is better because it's considered a passive ability, and even if you don't equip it in the command slot, it's it works when you're using a freelancer. So yeah, it was a way to train her and to train her using a knight and get some points for knight. Uh, nevertheless, we're near, we're near the final dungeon of the game. The monsters there give lots of ability points, just like 20 to 30. Yep, and that's only one battle. But right now, the maximum ability points I can get is like 7 ability points from the monsters in this place. So yeah. By the way, the treasure sucks. Why air knife? That's already an old weapon that I already got a uh, a few apps a lot of episodes ago, even in World 2. And counter. <sighs> too many wa too much water. This is gonna make my cold worse. Oh. Is there a secret here? No, there's there's only the air knife. There you go, let's return to the going up here. I think here, let's go down. B2. Oh, there's water. How about the other one? Because I might accidentally miss a treasure. B2. Also, it's the same area. It's not like Great Sea Trench in which you can really get lost. Uh, fine, let's just go the other way. It's just the same. At least we'll, con we'll complete the treasures this way. Okay, there's Shersher here. Goliath Tonic. It increases your HP in battle using the drink command. And that's weird. That area looks like it can be passable, but it's not. Or maybe if I, if I did miss out on it, I'm just gonna come back. Ah, Tonberry! 
Oh my god! A, a ton berry of the FF games. If it stabs you with a knife, you're dead. Click the switch, run like a freak! And yeah, get washed down by a waterfall. The ton berries here are not heavy, so you can kill them with encircle. The druids from northern uh, northern mountain or the court mountain northern lake can cast in circle you, you can encircle the taunt berries or use death and one shot it oh yeah yippee hey not pro okay let's go to the left side It's just the same. Why did I go back? Guess I was wrong. I thought there was a secret there. Well, let's just go. Let's just go to the next room. Oh, yeah, the monsters here pack a punch and can give you a bit of status effects, but not as worse as the Phoenix Tower. This is easier. It's easier. Encounter Steel Fist Primitive Strike. Okay, let's Odin you. Zantetsuken! Yeah! <laughs> it cut it in pieces! Even its hair and body. And there's no blood, and that's good. Because it's a rated E game. <clears throat> Gotta love the Odin because it's gonna make your encounters faster. I think the ENU key of Samurai can also do that. Oh, Reflect Ring! I already had a ton of those from Phoenix Towers. You can steal a lot of free picklings and the uh, mobs in Phoenix Tower. Oh, a consecrated circle! You can save here! Ah, oh, my throat. Let's save our game. Yeah, I plan to release the, the druid that I caught and northern lake you can release it on the non-heavy foes and you can one shot it gotta love in circle you rem it reminds me of omega because omega has in circle so yeah but i guess most of you uh, final fantasy 5 players already know that okay in this place i think there's a lot of pitfalls in this place maybe if a geomancer you can see it 12,000 gil. I'm not gonna bother switching to a geomancer just to see the the holes. It's just a hole I can always come flying back up. Other uh, stretches here. Artemis bow. It's a uh, decently nice bow for the rangers. Although I'm go I'm not gonna use a ranger in this part of the game. It's a. Uh, I fell. Oh no. Ouch. B5 Click the switch Oh uh, yeah, removes the thorns and you can get the treasure chest what's in here Titan's axe uh, It's a decent axe I don't like those weapons. I only like swords and knives in this game Because those are the weapons that you can spell blade Well, uh, anyway, the axes can still be decent Oh, Enhancer! Yo, yee Thank you, Lord. I love the Enhancer. The Enhancer increases the magic points, the mere magic power while using it. And at the same time, it's a sword, you can use it for spell blade. What's this? Let's open it. Oh! Ouch. My bones. I didn't see that spike. Damn, Bart, are you okay? Are you bloodied? Can I check your stomach? It's full of blood. You got stabbed by a sharp crystal piece. Maybe I should have pressed this first. Yep. So it removes the thorns. I have a feeling this also has one. So let's press this first. Yeah. Now we can see the traps and Fuma Shuriken. It's a better version of the Shuriken. Before. Okay, so where's the next door? How can we get to the B6? Are we stuck? Wait. Now how can we go to B6? 
There's no door. So you mean we're gonna be stuck here? Before. Oh no. Hmm. This is uh, interesting. Maybe there's. You need to do something to be able to get to the sixth uh, floor. Oh, ah. Now I get it. I forgot. But now I remember. You have to press a switch. There's a switch here in B5. Remember the the, the spikes with the holes. You have to purposely purposely fall down to get to B6, and you can't come back after you fall down. So I hope you're ready. So the coral rings are for the boss battle, like Shinryu and or whatever that super boss that can do a lot of water damage. But you can also use it here because Leviathan is water. And having a coral rings can give you a bit of bonus protection and healing or absorbing. So you use your coral rings here. Okay. I guess we're all ready. Rapid fire and if you have a character with spell blade. So you can put some tundagas in your weapons. As long as you're not using a non-spell blade weapon, you can, uh, you're not gonna be in trouble. Let's click the switch and purposely fall down the hole. Yeah! Ooh, my bones. B6. Oh, the tablet. Let's get this tablet. Oh, yeah. The four tablet. And we didn't even need to fight anyone. Or maybe... Well, I did say that... Leviathan was guarding us. Maybe Leviathan's asleep, so we don't need to fight him anymore. What? No way! I love this Windows tablet. You can't have it. Oh, shut up! I'm uh, your ex uh cohorts. I'm not gonna help you. You're evil. What's that? Oh! Whoa, waterfall attack! Whoa, oh my god! It's a snake! Whoa! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh wow! Golly! That's so pro! The piece of the show by Leviathan, wow! Uh, I'm not a bad guy, so don't hurt me! Uh, well, I wanna get to Leviathan, so let's talk to it. The power of my waters can wash sins and make things pure. But those who can fight the boy and beat me can get this power, so fight me! Leviathan boss bow! Uh, you can choose to not fight this if you run away and go to the well. But it's better that you fight this so you can get Leviathan because he's a decent and nice summon, second strongest after uh, Bahamut. So this guy's water, it's weak to lightning. So you silder it, ramu it, or tundaga slice it. Uh, let's try mimic. Or wait, I can also try something else. Let's dual cast. I want to try dual cast. Tundara. Dual Tundara. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Shock it. Shock the foe. Let us shock it. Oh, that was weak. I should have just used Mimic. Rapid fire. Yeah. Just like playing Tekken. Now it's just continuously punching the fog in chain of combos. Yeah. Feels like Tekken. Let's go to Ferris. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, eat some Tundaga Blaster! That's 9999, 5000. Ouch! Healing, because I have coral rings. Let's sail away. Thunderstorm! It's actually wind, but I don't know why it's damaging it very well. Thanks to the Max Rod. Thunderstorm! Ah, oh, my eyes! They should have. They should change this animation if they plan to make a remake. I wonder if the iOS version is the same. The Final Fantasy V iOS version has that seizure uh, animation of Silver. Uh, you're gonna die, Leviathan! Time for a powerful hit. Another one. The 
faith. <laughs> That's a powerful slices of Tundaga. Tundaga stabbing. Got 20 ability points. Reef, another reef thing. That's good. <laughs> Take me home and use my water. Receive a summon monster, Leviathan. <laughs> You know, I find that funny that Leviathan, after you beat him, he doesn't talk to you anymore and just joins your party. So, meaning, he, he doesn't like to talk much. He's a cute dragon. Everyone wants to have a Leviathan as a pet. And that's it. We exit the stage through the waterfall. And we can save our game. There's still a bit of time. We can do another one. Another quest. Okay. Let's go to the sealed room again. Let's put the Windows tablet. Sayonara Windows tablet. <laughs> I'm gonna get all the weapons in this episode. So yeah, we already used up the third and fourth little graph. Let's get the rune axe. Rune X, Rune X, an axe that uses critic MP to damage critical hits to uh, to use up, use us up MP to make critical hits. And let's use this one. Fire lash, break the seal. Yep, you bet. Fire lash, a slightly strong whip, and can cast. Firaga randomly with 30% chance. Apollo Sarp. Let's use this. Alright, let's get this. Apollo Sarp. Apollo Sarp. A harp that can damage dragons with times 2 power. Goodbye, Windows Tablet. Okay, that's all of our tablets. We beat the game, or not really. We got all the legendary weapons. We can choose to go to, uh, to where that is. Where is that? Uh, let's enter again. We trigger a cutscene by getting all the weapons. There was an earthquake down south. Let's just hope no one got hurt. If you had a submarine, we can check it out. Okay, but we have a submarine. So let's go check it out. So yeah, we can choose to go to the rift right now. But let's also get Bahamut before we go there. So we complete all the summon monsters. Oh, close call. I just want to enter that and trigger the cutscene. Hmm. <sighs> Feeling tired. Let's save first. Okay. Because we're near this place and let's we'll use the airship again. It's the thing, it's here. You have to submerge underwater and find a cave. There's no, uh, it's not in the map, but it's here. The southern part of the map. <coughs> oh man, an earthquake. Another one, or maybe a whirlpool. Yeah, some incredible force is coming up from the sea floor. Ah, I'm a dizzy. Spin round, baby, round down. Oh, it's like time and space are being twisted. It's sucking me in. Oh yeah, the innuendo. It's sucking me in. <sighs> I love the taste of the submarine. The submarine's hall. What the? Come on, let's check it out. By the way, this place is not available if you are playing the SNES version. This is only available in the Game Boy Advance version. So, uh, SNES people here who are watching this LP. You will not see this in the SNES LP. Oracle. 
Ooh, nice. What's this? Resting with a short warship. Gladiator! Ah, that's so beautiful. Or romantic romance. Time of romance. Alright, another one. Cannoneer! Wow! Well, I'm a cannoneer because I play lots of canon visual novel. Huh? Who's that? Is a monster? No, there's no monster here, Chardesk. Hey, uh, I'm a traveling merchant, searching the world for nice items. A ship was caught in the storm, but this this place has a lot of treasure, and this is good for me. A human? Oh, you're a kid! Wow, it's a crystal! You like crystal? It's probably right. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what it is, Oracle. They can predict, and oracles have an ability called read the head, so it can reduce the encounter rate of monsters in dungeons, and also you can condemn your foes and use some uh, for uh, foresight magic, just like in uh, foresight in Pokemon, uh, foresight, future sight. Yeah, the predictions will be better if you level up. Yep, so you better wait. And if you level up it, you can get nice abilities. Gladiator! Gladiators are nice class, and even in uh, if you're in the back row, you can damage full. Cannoneers! You can use lots of your uh, consumable weapons. You put some stuff in the cannon and shoot it in the foe. It can actually do status conditions, and that's about it's kinda good. If you want some can of rare ammunition, go buy it from my supplier. So yeah, find me in the equipment shops. And I wanna have a relationship with you because you're handsome. What the fuck was all that about? Let's get out of this place. Oh yeah. Uh, uh. This is gonna make me... It's giving me nausea. Okay, let's go up. We got the three bonus classes in the advanced version of the Final Fantasy game. Remember, this is not in the SNES version and also in the anthology version. So don't expect those classes to be in your game if you're playing those. Uh, and yes, I forgot about this. It looks tricky, but you can actually enter it. I, I can't believe I missed that. Sorry, guys. Rune Blade is a nice blade that uses up MP to do critical or to increase the critical hit ratio. Arm uh, uses MP to strike a critical towards the foe. Just like the Rune Axe. But of course, Rune Blade is good because blades are really good because you can spell blade it. While the axe, you can't sp spell blade the axe. So let's get out of this place. You know what? I pl I think we still have a bit of time. Le yeah, let's do overtime this episode. Yeah, let's overtime. Why not? I mean, why not? I'm, I'm in a good mood. And besides, the next quest is a really fast quest. Since North Mountain, nothing changes. The mobs are still the same when you first visited North Mountain. So yeah, you're, you're gonna encounter the the weak monsters there. And you can one shot and you can just you can kill it barehanded. You can even just use your level 1 magic to kill it. I'm just gonna cut this out. And go straight to the boss and the cutscene. But let's just walk towards there. So yeah. Just in case I upload the versus battle bitch of me and my friends in my channel, Chardesk. So yeah, I'm gonna post it. <laughs> just in case I'm gonna post it. Please watch it. <laughs> Cause my bunny shadow feline is a pro. <laughs> go Greg! Oh yeah. I went back because I'm stupid. 
Okay. So, uh... Reflect rings are good, but you should also buy a bit of angel rings. Bahamut has zombie breath, and if you get zombified, you're screwed. Unless you can holy water that zombie person in time. Okay, we're back. After this, we're gonna fight it. So I better ready your characters. Behemoth has no weakness. It's a heavy dragon monster. So yeah, you can't exploit it just unlike Leviathan which is weak to Bolt or to Thunder. Just use your rapid fires, uh, use your good healers, dual casting and nice time magic and you're gonna win. Okay, let's see if we, we can beat it. Oh man. Oh, wow, look at that size. It's as big as North Mountain, wow. Or did they really exaggerate the size of Bahamut in this game? You have broken the seal of investment battle, I shall award you with my power. Uh oh. Boss battle! Bahamut! Okay. Rapid fire. Three of my characters has reflect ring. The reflect of reflecting will never wear off unlike the reflect of carbuncle. This is kinda good. Okay, Meteor is also a nice magic here. Since it hits four times and Bahamut is only one target, so yeah, it's gonna hit, he's gonna eat all of the meteors. Okay, rapid fire. Uh oh. Aqua breath. I hope that's not too powerful. 700 plus, okay. My monk has a lot of HP, so he's, I think he's gonna survive. Wow, look at that defense. Good thing uh, the rapid fire makes it hit a lot of times. Uh, shell it, let's shell a character. I have a feeling he's gonna blast us with his wave cannon. Or rather, uh, Mega Flare. Yeah. Gotta love the chicken knife. Hmm, I think I wanna heal Bars. I think blue magic cannot be reflected or I think it is. Screw me, but he's gonna mega flare and it's gonna return to him. Three shots return to him. Defeat! What? What? That's it? Wow, Bamut is easier than expected. I was expecting a longer fight. Wow, is that really all 40,000 HP? Wow. Well, I'm gonna gladly take that because I'm tired and I need a rest. So that's it. Receive the summon monster, Bahamut! Thank you, Bahamut! I love you, Bahamut. You are my pet now. I will put you in a dog, uh, dog house. Yeah, I love to have a Bahamut as a pet, so when there are thieves in the house, I can ask it to mega flare them to death. Yeah, Bahamuts are epic pets for your home. And that's it. We'll continue this in the next episode. I guess we're already far. So we're gonna go straight to the rift in the next episode. So yeah, that's it. And in case I upload the CTR vid of Shadow Feline, please watch it and also visit this channel. He's my good friend. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Richard Desk. Commentaries. Here we like it if you subscribe.